guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lexi Miles. Uh, today I have a fun one for you. I'm gonna give you a couple hacks that will help you do your fitness like a boss. So if you wanna know what all of those are, uh, feel free to stick around. If it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And if you have been here before, I just wanna say thanks for coming back. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, so like I said, I have a couple fitness hacks for you guys, um, things that work for me and that really help me. Um, so I'm just gonna jump into it. So number one, you have to celebrate your non-scale wins. What that means is basically like, let's say that there's a pair of pants and you couldn't fit into it or anything, but you notice when you do put it on, it fits better or you can actually put it on or something. Like for me, example, I did get a pair of pants uh, recently and um, I couldn't fit them and I was like, ah, oh, I was bummed out. However, today I'm like super unbummed out because I was able to fit them. So things like that, like celebrate the non-scale wins. Speaking of the scale, number two, I would say is to stay off of the scale. At the beginning of any program, you're gonna wanna, of course, weigh yourself, but after that, whatever your time is that you're going to be doing, let's say that you have like um, a 30 day program, a hundred day program or 60 day program or six week program, whatever your program is that you're going to be doing, stay off the scale after you've done your initial weigh in. And then at the end of it, check and see where you're at. By doing that, you're not going to give yourself like weird results because when you sit there and you obsess about the scale, then you're gonna be focused on that versus on the different things. You might feel a little uncomfortable or defeated or something like that if you're not seeing much of a move. But you have to remember, muscle is also being gained throughout your whole experience. So don't worry about that so much so, and just stay off the scale. Okay guys, so the next one is to find your tribe. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to definitely find people who are like-minded to what you're doing. So that makes it easier because you guys are all doing the same thing and you wanna encourage each other. So find a tribe that's gonna really be like, oh, encouraging. I don't care if you don't have anybody. You can find a tribe on Pinterest or on Instagram or whatever. Like finding a tribe could just be um, pulling pictures that inspire you. Whatever it is, associate with what you want to associate with that's gonna positively get you your results. All right, so you're gonna wanna find different ways to stay excited about what you're doing, to stay motivated and uh, driving forward. So I don't care if it's like a little thing. For me, what I like to do is I like to put out my clothes the week before because um, when I see the different things disappear off the hangers, I know that I've already finished my workouts and everything else and that gets me excited. It's a way of feeling really cute as you're doing your thing. So that works for me, but what motivates you? Um, I also like to pin different um, looks of where I'm going. So I might find somebody who has like the body style that I'm like looking to achieve. Whatever is going to inspire you, do that. Now, having said that, the next one I want to say is motivation can only take you so far. So you're going to need to go ahead and set up some guidelines, some parameters for yourself, and you're going to need to get disciplined. Or even think about doing that workout in the day. Just know that the first thing you're going to do is that workout or set a time that you have to do it by or whatever it is. And if you follow that discipline, you're going to get it done. Okay, so now you're going to want to have a plan for what you're doing. In order to succeed, you have to plan for that success and really plan out what you're gonna do. So that could be a matter of just pre-planning your meals, plan your treats, plan your treat meals. Sometimes you don't want that little junky stuff. Plan it out because then you're not falling off the wagon. You're actually planning to eat that and then you're planning to continue on with whatever else. So ultimately plan for your success. Okay, so now speaking of success, you're gonna want to envision that success. So part of envisioning that is gonna be defining what those different things are that mean that you're getting success with your fitness. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I lost the light, so I have to go over here now. All right, so next thing, um, you're gonna wanna hydrate, 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 hydrate. I cannot stress that enough. There are so many benefits to hydration and everything else. One, your muscles don't get fatigued and you also feed them, it's a source that just makes them feel better. Um, your joints don't hurt. So if you're like, oh God, I'm sorry, you probably need to drink some water. Um, it helps with your cardiovascular, your health, and it also makes your skin nice and glowy. And then it's countless other things. So hydrate, that is a key way to definitely uh, uh, level up your fitness. Plus, it's also a good way to cleanse from the inside out. Okay, so what you're also gonna wanna do is to uh, recognize the fitness and the workout time for what it is it and all of this whole thing it is a journey and on the journey there's going to be bumps there's going to be different things that go on but it is okay it's totally okay okay also say you do do something that you're like Ugh, i didn't do this whatever okay let it go and keep it moving that is another huge thing do not criticize yourself for that just know you're human 
that is a part of it and this is not just some fad thing that you're doing this is a lifestyle change so it might take you a little while to get into the group but even so there's nothing wrong with that you are living a life so keep it moving if there's something that's trying to weigh you down who cares it is what it is chalk it up put it in the past all right recognize the workout for what it is and the fitness and all of that it is your me time so when you realize it's your me time all of a sudden you don't want anything to touch that and you do not you know you prioritize it so so recognize it as me time, and it's your special time to feel good about yourself. Recognize that you deserve it, and you deserve to feel good. All right, so there is no shame. If you are if you are doing a workout and it's a little hard, take it down. Make sure that you're able to breathe and make sure that you can modify it. So modify it. I don't care if it's modifying, oh, hey, I can't do this many workouts this week or whatever it is. Modify it, customize it for you. This is your program, so do that. So modify as it needs and, or push. If you need to take it up, take it up. Okay, we're almost to the last one. I want you to sit, take a moment and when you're doing everything, recognize the benefits of how good you feel as you're doing it. Um, you know, like how you feel after. You know that feeling? There's nothing like that feeling. And finally, thank yourself for every day, at the end of the week, all of it, for taking time to invest into yourself. Okay, so we are on this journey together. Um, I hope that these tips have helped you and um, I just know that I don't have all the answers. These are just things that work for me and I wanted to share them with you so that they could help you too. Um, I hope that they do. And you are now feeling like you can fit like a boss. Please comment below and let me know, like, and subscribe. All right guys, with that said, I'm out of here. I will talk to you guys later.